Have you ever felt like you have multiple personality disorder? <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> Hi, Gary. I sometimes do. I'm about to get ridiculous. Hi, I'm Harold. I'm part of Gary's aspect that likes to speak and tell everybody all the things that he knows. Hark, listen to me speak. I'm Ruby. I am the soft and center part of his heart that deals with emotions that are sometimes too hard to handle. I'm Captain Gruff. I help keep people away from Big Baby because he makes a mess. Did you say Big Baby? <laughs> Why do things ever go my way? <laughs> okay, so those are a couple of the personalities that live inside of me. Subpersonalities, different aspects of the one Gary that makes me up. Now here's the thing about a multiple personality disorder. It's only a disorder if you don't have a uh, overarching identity of the person that you are. We each have all kinds of different parts of our personality that exist. But when it becomes a disorder, we don't recognize that there's one being holding it all that it lives inside of. And so they fight for the light to come out and have some sense of identity and expression because they're not integrated within the self. So I'm speaking of the intersection between psychology and spirituality. And I want to propose that we live in a multidimensional reality where there is a vibrational scale. And as we go higher up into this vibrational scale, we come into greater levels of oneness, sameness, where there is one reality fully integrated into one thing. And as we come down this scale, closer to the dimension that we live in, there are greater distinctions and differences that exist. And this happens within us as well. We have all these different parts of ourselves, psychologically speaking. And the ideal is for us to be able to integrate all these different parts under the one overarching identity that for me is known as Gary. And this comes from essentially Jungian psychology, which created this idea of the different parts, parts work, shadow work, um, IFS, internal family <laughs> system, or also ACT, like acceptance and commitment therapy. There's also, we use that inside of our own primal spirituality teachings with the archetypes and the different dimensions of sovereign, uh, warrior, lover, magician, this is a natural part of our reality and our psyche as being a human. When I was in my 20s, I went and studied metaphysics at a school. And one of the things that I learned was dream, dreams, working with dreams, dream interpretation. And metaphysics was all about taking the conscious awareness into the subconscious realms. And so we learned that every dream is about the dreamer. Everyone in the dream is the dreamer. So even if I'm dreaming about you interacting with me and all these other people, these are just different aspects of myself that my subconscious is using to represent these different relationships that exist inside of me. And we all have that. The, the key is about integrating, getting these parts to work together instead of working against each other. Sometimes we go through trauma and they split off, they disintegrate, and we have fractioning that happens inside of us. And then there's a hurt psyche and there can be disorders that come from that. But how does that relate to spirituality? Yes, there is an aspect and dimension of ourselves that lives inside of this great community inside of my consciousness that is the eternal presence of spirit. But even more than that, I want to propose that each one of us, holographically speaking, are an aspect of the one self, the one I am presence, the one divine God, Allah, 
EO, whatever name you want to give to it, this overarching creator of creation that has all these individuated aspects and dimensions of self that show up as, for me, Gary, for you, you, insert your name. You are a subpersonality. You are an aspect. You are a dimension of the one I am presence. And as we learn to recognize that within each other, as we let these parts of ourselves communicate and integrate, we know that it's only by coming together and integrating within ourselves as a larger community that we can truly come to know the manifestation of the Creator through our personal creations. Our divinity is meant to express through our personality. And our personalities are meant to come together to reflect the divinity of all that is. So let us see that inside of ourselves and in each other.